I'm Scott Pryor. How do you do? And this dazzling creature is the magnificent Minerva, palm reader extraordinaire. <laughs> My real name is Wendy. Since Scott became the carnival barker, he turns everything into a special attraction. Wendy, Mother Nature made you a special attraction, not me. We were just married today. Where uh, is our cabin? Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Pryor, you're on the promenade deck, cabin 101. That's right up the stairs. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Oh, Miss, do you know where the gift shop is? The gift shop? Uh, yes, I need to get something. It's very important. It's right over there, but uh, why don't you just go on upstairs and I'll meet you in the cabin. Okay. Please. Okay. Excuse me. I was going to say that the gift shop doesn't open until we sail. I know, I just can't go up to the cabin right now with him. Honeymoon nerves. Well, don't worry. A lot of brides get them. It's normal. Believe me, my problem isn't normal. Oh, I'm so glad you brought your carnival aboard, Mr. Cummings. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, so am I, Kyle. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. Well, kid, why don't you take your youthful hand and try one of our games of skill? Oh, come on, step right up and show your strength. Don't be back till, gentlemen. Here's your chance to test those muscles for the ladies. I don't think so. I'm a little out of shape. Oh, come on, Captain. Come on! <laughs> come on, Dad. Try it. Maybe you'll win me a prize. Uh, okay, for you, honey. Step right up, Captain. <laughs> That's my dad. Give the Captain a prize, and you young guys had better stay away from his daughter. <laughs> Never a moment's doubt. <laughs> Come on, step All right up. But remember, just because I see a man in the palm of your hand, it doesn't always mean you can keep him there. Ladies and gentlemen, who's next? The magnificent Minerva will amaze you with her astounding predictions of the future. My lovely will fix a cabin rendezvous in ten minutes. Think you can sneak away? I don't know. Quit shaking. Wendy, I'm not shaking. You are. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little nervous about the honeymoon. More than a little nervous. What is it? I can't tell you. I can't tell anybody. Scott, isn't this a beautiful menu? Yeah, it's just mouth water. Uh, we'll have two dinner cells, please. That's all. We're in a bit of a hurry. Sweetheart, we're gonna miss out on these wonderful dishes. There is only one dish here that interests me. Sweetheart, we have plenty of time for that. Can I just have a nice dinner, please? Oh, what the heck, whatever the lady wants. I'll have some pate and uh, the um, shrimp cocktail and uh, the onion soup and a little minestrone. And then I'll have the Caesar salad and the lobster. Very good. If you want to see a real wild animal, let's go back to our cabin. You look so gorgeous, you are driving me crazy. Wendy, where are you going? Please, I just want to be left alone. What did I say? Oh, just a second. Oh, Julie, what am I gonna do? Wendy, what's the problem? Scott thinks I'm beautiful. And he wants to go to bed with me. Gee, life's tough. Oh, you don't understand. I'm a nervous wreck, and if I go to bed with him, I'll ruin everything. Excuse me. Hello? Now, Scott, please, calm down. Wendy's here with me. Not the Wendy he's looking for. What? <laughs> uh, no, no, Scott, we were just, uh, talking. Uh, just talking girl talk. <laughs> Listen, Scott, Wendy is very nervous. 
so nervous. In fact, she's coming apart at the seams. I think it would be better if she stayed here with me tonight, and then we could talk things through. I'm sure she'll be over the jitters by the morning. And then you two can start fresh. Of course she loves you. And I'll tell her that you love her, too. How can he love me? He doesn't even know me. Good night, Scott. I am phony to the end. You mean? Remember, Scott married you for what you are, not what you look like. But you look adorable. He didn't marry adorable. He married a sex pot. Well, he's a lucky man. He's getting both. Attention, this is the last call for the breakfast buffet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julie, I have been worried sick about Wendy. Where is she? Well, I'm sure she's up here someplace. Uh -huh. Thanks, I'll have a look around for it. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. Wendy, is that you? Afraid so. Um, but you. Uh, Wendy, what happened to you? I think the Wendy that you're looking for is over here. Does this look familiar? Eyelashes, long, beautiful red fingernails, and the rest is a little bit embarrassing. Well, I guess that takes care of the Wendy you've been looking for. Wendy, I think we have to talk. Look, Scott, I don't think there's anything to talk about. I deceived you, and to tell you the truth, I don't know how I got away with it as long as I did. So, I'm letting you off the hook. I'm spending the rest of the cruise in Julie's cabin. And when we get back home, we'll just get a no or something. Wendy! I'm sorry, Scott. You'll never know how sorry I am. Bye. How could she have seen me like that? I don't blame you for being upset. I should have known that she was just too good to be true. Oh, look on the bright side. There are still a lot of very voluptuous-looking ladies over there. I know. But how many of them are as warm as Wendy? Or smart? I'm telling you, Isaac, she's really smart. And what a sense of humor she has. No matter how down I get, she can always, always make me laugh. We both want the same things. Kids in a big house in the country someday. Do you, do you realize what you just did? Out of everything that you said about her, you didn't once mention her looks. I didn't, do did I? No, you didn't. And you know what else? You sound like a man who's very much in love. You're right. I am. Thank you, Watson. Thank you very much. Sure. Wendy? Hi. Could we talk? No, scratch that. Can you forgive me? Forgive you? I never should have let you leave the room today. I have been selfish and shallow and stupid. Oh, Scott. You didn't do anything. It was all my fault. I should have told you a long time ago about the real me, but I was just afraid to. Why, baby? Now, don't you know that I love you? I guess I wasn't sure. Scott, when I was growing up, guys didn't go for girls that looked like I did. They went for girls who looked sexy. And as soon as I figured out how to look like that, I never had the confidence to just look like me again. Can you understand that? Yeah. Well, I guess a lot of boys are pretty dumb. This boy's got some growing up to do right now. I couldn't ask for a better wife. I hope you...
you still want me to be your husband? You bet I do. Hold it. What? What do you say? We go down to the cabin and... And? Order dinner in. Pleasure. Scott, you know you're something else. You come on board with one beautiful woman and you leave with one even more beautiful. Well, maybe Minerva the Magnificent here can find the secret in my pond. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> well, I see you have a very strong love line. Just hurry home so I can read the rest. 